Okay people, this is a really cool hook and a really cool bead. This is a Hannock 400 with a Hannock tungsten bead on it. This is the, uh, I think it's called Dark Violet or Dark Purple or something, but super cool. It's a really good way to add hot spots. So I'm going to use this. Uh, the other thing I've been playing with a lot lately, while Curtis was coding on his computer or something, I have been creating or kind of messing around with a new mix of dubbing. So if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I really like Squirrel. So I have taken Squirrel and the Trout Hunter CDC dubbing and I've blended it all up. So you can see little CDC chunks in there. It should make for a fly that, that moves really well in the water. And they make really cool collars. Um, but anyway, there's that. This is natural squirrel mixed with black CDC, if you can see it. And then I did a bunch with just regular or, or tan CDC. Um, the CDC is really integrated well into that. Um, but if you put this in a dubbing loop and, and tie a fly with it, it, it looks awesome. Anyway, so we're going to tie a little jig nymph with a CDC and squirrel body. It's going to be really basic, just using purple thread. Um, and my first few wraps are just going to be lock, locking the bead in place. The cool thing about these Hannock beads, using them with Hannock hooks, you can see that they're basically made for one another. Uh, that slot's barely big enough for the hook to fit through, and so it takes just a few wraps of thread to get that to lock down. Uh, been pretty impressed. Uh, for the tail, I'm just using some of this uh, Coq de Leon tail feather. Kind of looks like a pheasant tail with modeling. And I'll just tie in a, a little tail with that. About like yay. And then for the rib on this, I'm going to use some of this hen's pearl, what do they call it? Body rib, pearl round ribbing? PRR. <laughs> I don't even know what color this one is, but it, it might even be like brown or something. But it's the uh, PRR 17 and it's got a purple hue to it. So that's what I'm going to rib the fly with. And then for the body, I'm just going to use some of this uh, squirrel with black CDC and I'll dub it directly onto the thread really, really fine. Because whenever you show Lance a fly that has a lot of appendages, he'll look at you and say, hmm, slow sinker. So the thinner, the more it'll cut through water, even though this is going to be kind of a bulky fly compared to some. So barely any dubbing. You can see how that, that bugs out just a little bit. About up to that point. And I'm going to counter wrap my, my ribbing so it doesn't fall in any of the grooves of that dubbing, dubbing noodle, if that makes any sense. So you'll see that when it hits sunlight, it really gives off a lot of light. Okay, now I'm going to make a really sparse collar on this. So I'm going to take my thread and make kind of a, a short dubbing loop, close it off, and I'm just using the shepherd's, shepherd's loop on the gator grip tool. And now I'll just take a very small amount of that dubbing and I'll stick it in the loop. about like that the tool formerly known as the tool that Curtis didn't have 
this is a really good dubbing tool for, for picking out in very fine spaces. So I'm picking out some of that under fur from the squirrel. And now I'm just going to give this like one and a half turns or so. And you can see that CDC kind of bugging out on me, which is what I want. And now I'll just throw a whip finish in there and brush it out. Actually, I lied. I'm going to put some cement in it. You can just dab a little head cement down in the little gap there and it will get all over on the thread where you need it. If you take your hard as whole bottle and cut your brush to a point, you can get it where you need it to be. And now I'm just going to lightly tease out some of those fibers. And the cool thing about this is those little individual CDC fibers are really going to kick around differently from the squirrel. So super easy fly. You can do it in a bunch of different colors. We chose purple tonight. Make sure that you subscribe. Curtis almost pushed stop. Make sure you subscribe. What do I say? Ring the bell? Smash the bell. Smash the bell. You, isn't the term ring the bell, though? I don't think so. It's, but, it, like, in real world... Yeah, but, it, but it's in not, YouTube lingo, you smash it because you want to see the video when no, it comes out. No, you smash the burger. You don't... You <laughs> ring the bell. I'm going to change this. But, smash the bell.